personal log. Mission Specialist Kate Ward, Sentient Contact Assessment and Response Team. We always wondered if we're alone in the universe. We observed and explored, but found nothing. Until now. Call mission control to Hermes. Status check. All systems nominal. We're working on a solution for our scan power requirement. We'll update soon. Roger that, Hermes. Keep us posted. Kate, we have an issue. Problem with the scan? We've underestimated the power requirements necessary to penetrate the Metahedron's hull. Mike has an idea, but he could use a hand. He's in the lab and I'll give you the details. On my way. Excess energy seems to have done the trick. The array is locked on the Metahedron and operating at almost 200% of its standard efficiency. Say the word, Commander. Just a moment, Dr. Ward. Team, can I have your attention, please? Since the dawn of humankind, our species has gazed toward the skies and wondered whether we were truly alone. Well, six months ago, we got our answer. And with it came new questions. What is this object in front of us? Where did it come from? Who sent it? And why? And while the governments, leaders, thinkers, and common people discussed the meaning of this event, we were training. And we were preparing. The SCAR team. Now, the whole world is relying on us. We're dreamers and skeptics. We're explorers and pioneers. With hearts and minds. With courage and resolution with trust and fellowship, with science. We're going to give the world their answers. And in this historic moment, at the conjunction of hopes and fears, there's no people I'd rather face the unknown with. Dr. Ward, you have the honors. Let's do this. Yes, Commander. <sighs> Scared? Of course I am. I thought you army pilots were trained not to be. We're trained to control it. The fear keeps us sharp. How are you holding up, Doctor? Oh, I'm 100% sharp, all right. <laughs> so, do you think it's a weapon? Well, a weapon is a very human concept. Perhaps what we perceive as a weapon is just a tool. Wait. The scan. The Metahedron's energy levels are rising rapidly. Okay, what happened? Power supply failing. Sensors offline. I'm switching to backup generators. I'll try to reroute. Look. The Metahedron, it's... It's creating some sort of a gravity well. The Hermes is being pulled towards it! Hang on, everyone! Dr. Ward! Kate! Commander Robinson? Tam? Mike? Anyone? Where are you? What happened to you, Richard? Tam? Mike? Uh, I hope you're alive. Equipment. 
fragment from the Hermes. I must be getting closer to the crash site. shredded into pieces. They must have been killed by those monsters nearby. This was someone close to you, wasn't it? Save your people. Stop the custodian. shut. How do I get through? The other Ven sector is closed, protecting itself from an intruder. Your friend is inside. Tam, she must have triggered the lockdown. Is there another way in? Uh, yes, a transit system for materials. Nearest access station is nearby, sending you the location. Better check that transit system then, whatever it is. Hmm, that looks interesting. It's warm to the touch. Thermal amplifiers and emissive materials. Perhaps it's some kind of a personal heating system. This must be the transit system. It is inactive because of the lockdown. What now? The transit center is up the mountain. Get there, and I will be able to reactivate the system. I'm sending you the location. It is a long walk. The custodian has a singular goal to uncover the code. But the code can only be deciphered through countless cellular permutations. Finding a sufficient number of variations in the universe would be impossible. Creating multiple iterations with what is available, however, that is more manageable. He turned our facilities into genetic laboratories. He created nanomachines to induce and control cellular mutations. So all these monstrous creatures are the result of Custodian's genetic experimentation. Tam! Kate? Kate! Oh, but you died. I... I saw you die. Tam! Oh, it's so good to see you. I, I can't explain it, Tam. This place keeps bringing me back. You know, at this point... With everything going on, I'll just accept that and be happy that you're alive and kicking. I followed the signal you discovered. I... I, um... I saw Mike. Yeah, things are not looking good. I tracked the signal to this place, hoping to reverse the process. The room you're in must be some kind of a mainframe. I tried to get in, but I triggered some security system and the place went into lockdown. Everything leads to the room you're in, Kate. It must be the control center for those things in Mike's blood. If they could do all that to him, perhaps they can revert it? I'm on it. How? Even if you find the access point, everything is in this weird alien language. I might have some help there. I can't explain it. Just trust me, okay? Okay. Do whatever you can. Like before, touch the console. I will attempt to stop the mutation on the human and instruct the nanomachines to reverse the process. However, if the mutation has crossed into stage three, there is no stopping it. 
and the reversal is not possible. Please do what you can. I hope it's not too late. Accessing. Sending new instructions. Come on. Anomaly detected. You. I will not let you compromise the experiment. I'm severing connection to Site Vancepta and discarding the facility. What's going on, Kate? What is that voice? The custodian. He's trying to stop us. Do you understand it? What is it saying? Nothing good. Still working. Almost there. Purge protocol initiated. Kate, get out of there! Some kind of cavernous region below the site. I need to find Tamara. Kate, you failed to save me! Just like you failed! God! Robinson! I thought you were gone. Again. Tamara? How, how, how did you find me? It took me quite a while to get down. That was a nasty drop. I just followed the trail of monster corpses until I detected your signal. That monster... It produced some kind of hallucinogenic gas. I thought it was Mike. I thought... Hey, you did it. You stopped it, whatever it was. We'll use that monolith. It's our way back to the Hermes. Can you operate it? No, but as I said, I have some help. I'll explain everything when we get back. He's doing better. The cellular reversal is ongoing, but the nanomachines will remain in his blood. They are one alien signal away from switching back into mutation mode. So, let me get this straight. You somehow regenerate after dying, and you've been seeing and hearing this alien being who used to be one of the people that created this place? From what I've gathered, all of this is some kind of an experiment. A planet-wide lab. It manipulates genes of living things, creates permutations, in hopes of finding something called the Code of Life. Basically, some sort of secret message hidden in genes, connecting all living things in the universe. That's... I believe woe is the proper term. Woe, indeed. But the experiment was hijacked by this entity they call the Custodian. The creepy voice we heard in the alien installation? Yes. Damn, this thing... started experimenting on the alien scientists themselves. Some of the monsters we encountered. They used to be people. That is horrible. It still wasn't enough to unlock the code, so the Custodian... he reached out across space to find new... specimens. Us. Us. Mm -hmm. 
He won't stop until there's nothing left of us to experiment on, won't he? You are correct. The nanomachines in your friend can be easily used again to restart the mutation process. The custodian will eventually infect all of you. He has many more injector constructs at his disposal. And after he's done with us, he'll go back to Earth for more humans. It is likely. You're just his initial match. A trial run. Now that he's confirmed you're compatible, after he's done with you, he will likely seek out more of your kind. We must end him. Agreed. He is a machine. And you created him. We weren't making any progress with the code. We were limited by our own capabilities. The data patterns required simultaneous analysis in a near limitless number of dimensions. And the mutations needed to be synchronized accordingly. So you made a machine to run the experiment and put it in control? But the custodian is more than a machine. He is an artificial intelligence made out of the connectomes of our own minds. In other words, you gave him all the brains and no heart. Heart? He doesn't need a heart. He runs on meta-quantum energy. I meant you didn't give him empathy. No. So, how do we destroy him? With this. This place can recompile his matrix into a seed that contains opposite subroutines. Planted in his neural core, it would grow and nullify his systems. It would effectively erase his mind. I am activating the recompile sequence. It will take some time, but once it's done, we should have the seed that can destroy the custodian. And how do we get to his neural core? I will explain everything along the way, but we must hurry. Please return to the mine. Personal log, sentient contact assessment, and response team. Cyan. Where am I? What planet is this? Did the Metahedron bring us here? How far would you go? discoveries in the history of sentient life. I will not leave my friends here with you, monster. You're not surviving this. Disappointing. I preferred the optimal solution to this conundrum, one that would benefit all sides. But you leave me no choice. It's only a matter of time before I break the protection my creator granted you.
Personal Log. Mission Specialist Kate Ward. The entity known as the Custodian, the one responsible for everything that happened to the SCAR team, has been destroyed. His existence endangered not only members of my team, but potentially all of Earth as well. And who knows how many more worlds. He was a product of recklessness rather than malicious intent, but the consequences of his actions were tragic nonetheless. So many lives lost, including our mission commander, Richard Robinson. He will be dearly missed. Naya and her people, creators of this place and of the Custodian, were in many ways similar to humans. Scientists, explorers, seekers. They discovered something incredible, something that might hold the secret to all life. Perhaps this was a mystery that was not meant to be unlocked so soon. Their fate should be a warning to us all, but not a deterrent. If anything, I now know that even in the vastness of universe, there are others like us. People looking for answers. That gives me hope and makes the great distance from home just a little smaller. Naya left us her gift, just as she said. The monolith has the coordinates of a planet that I hope supports human life. I believe it to be Naya's homeworld. I don't know what awaits us there. New dangers, new discoveries, perhaps even a means to return to Earth. These are all unknowns. But what is certain is that we stand together. Mike, Tam, and I. We are scientists. We are a team. We are scars. We will find our way home. Thank you.